How's it going guys? Jordan Meyer, Wholesome Family Farms. Uh, today we're gonna be feeding some goats again. And uh, let's just say during the frozen winter here towards the end, once we lost our snow, they started misbehaving. So yeah, this, this happens with goats every once in a while. Um, Let's just say if you short them or don't quite give them enough, let's they can, you know, help themselves. So we got a bunch of bales that are outside of their area where they're supposed to be, and yeah, they'll get out and they'll just go help themselves. That's typical goats for you. So when that happens, then we have to do a little retraining, I guess, so to speak. But uh, what we'll do for that is put them back in our high tensile six wire fence, which is where we're at right now. And then we'll entice them to go feed next to the fence. So whether you use tree branches, leaves, or whatever time of year you're at, I got some cereal rye that's in the shed. That's what I use. I just pour a little bit of that out along the fence and they seem to like that. But um, yeah, when they do that, then they'll all crowd around the fence and then they'll shock themselves and retrain. And I literally disconnect the whole farm off, off of everything except for what this six wire fence is. So let's just say it's screaming hot and they shouldn't forget it. At least the ones that'll touch it, but some of them are still smart enough to not touch it, but they'll learn. Now I'm trying to put them back in the shed there. I'm gonna feed them a few bales here, but yeah, it's kind of too bad when I have to lock them down to this couple acre paddock here. And this is where I feed them hay right now, but I'd like to get them out on the land again and do it that way and keep the carbon out there where we could actually use it a little bit better. But I don't know, I also had another cool idea of maybe planting something into this thatch layer here. You could literally come in here and no-till pumpkins or squash or corn or anything into it and I bet you it would do really good maybe that'll be another video but yeah we got to get these guys locked up I sure wish I had my border collie rusty here that would be very helpful <laughs> boy oh boy dogs are so nice to have so are these guys they're they're our guard dogs they're definitely nice to have too they do a good job these are the puppies that we had just this last year and they're already doing a really good job. So really looking forward to kidding season. We're still a good month and a half, two months out yet. So it'll be coming before you know it though. Time flies. Let's get these guys locked up. All right, we got three bales out there that we're gonna unroll for them. Right there, we got a little bit of rye. Them are the little bugger goats that got out of the gate right over there. I didn't have it, a panel in front of it and there's a little gap and they're slippery. They get right through. Now I'm gonna be putting the teaser bale out for them. I'm gonna literally hug it right up to, <laughs> right up to the fence. So, uh, anything we can do to entice them close to the fence, that's what we're doing, so. That means me putting a bale right up to the fence and getting it tight. Well, that's what we're gonna do, so. Just starting to touch. That might be a little bit close. Well, we got the bales set good enough, so let's let the goats out. How you doing, Mia? You enjoying the sunshine today? Are ya? You're a good girl, aren't ya? Sure you are. <laughs> they went to that bale right away there, and that's a another teaser bale I put inside the paddock. Got a three wire high, or a, not high tensile, poly wire fence around it so it's deterring them way to those bales over there so man she's getting muddy out though nice and warm here about 50 degrees 
Probably one of the best days of 2023 so far. But it'll be interesting to see how the teaser bale will work for training some of these little buggers. Well, yeah, all I did was I set a bale inside of my six wire high tensile fence right there. This one I set outside of it just to... Sorry about that, guys. My phone ended up dying. I couldn't finish the video. Well, now I'm on another farm, but anyway, I'll finish the details of the video. Um, yeah, basically we put that one bale inside of the six wire high tensile fence and we put three wire poly wire around it, the bale, just to entice them to touch the fence and test it out. And yeah, over time, a couple days here, it should train them pretty well. And then we'll be able to hopefully go back out in the fields with them and keep the hay and the manure and the carbon out where it should be. Build soil elsewhere. We have plenty up in the yard there already. So the more we can feed bales out of the yard and stuff, the better. So I definitely want to get them trained here. It's towards the end of March now, so won't be long. We'll be going out to the woods with them again. So anyway, with that, y'all have a great day and okay. anyone have any questions or comments or anything, shoot me a question in the comments section. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to all you new subscribers. Everyone have a great day and God bless.